salute you wonderful simmers and welcome today we are going to be going on to part two of the uh challenge rex to riches eco lifestyle this is my um creation that we are currently on my website which i am building hopefully so that i can help some new simmers out and have a place where i can put the challenges that I recreate and things on here, recreate and some original ideas will be here. At the moment, only rags to riches into here um, and eco lifestyle version of this uh, challenge. So some of this will have changed if you've watched this whole se series so far, you'll notice that some of this has changed. Uh, there's some different colors, there's um, different pictures, and there's also um, some of this has changed up because it's a work in progress. And so I've had to, you know, change things as I've, you know, played through this challenge. If it's been too hard, too easy, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and just, yeah. <laughs> so in the end in the end um yeah we got the toilet the sink the fridge the bed the sofa the shower the counter um for our little home not the up-to-date pictures here yet <laughs> all right so part two of this so the story is getting out of bed you feel a sense of pride that you've never felt before this is crazy you have gone from homeless to having things that are yours you found and crafted everything in this trailer you think maybe mum and dad would like you now. Maybe if you made it a bit better, they could come live with you and they could finally like you. There's a feeling deep down that you know that they w won't and maybe, just maybe. Looking down, you realise you still wear the same clothes as you left home with and sadness washes over you. So this is all about fixing your broken sim. Um, and so the aim of this challenge is going to be upgrade as much as possible that is because you want your home to stay looking nice and the second thing is to go on a shopping spree and then thirdly you need to wallpaper and floor your trailer um if you want to read through all of this then head over to here you can have a look there's a small point system 10 points up for grabs in each uh, part so three for upgrading all of everything in your house three for the shopping spree and with that you're going to take a friend with you because that's part of you developing your character your sim is that you um are making friends and things um and so too took a friend to the cafe six seven eight nine ten would be yeah okay so i haven't added that in uh so two points for doing the wallpaper walling and the floor okay so let's head over to our sim world and we can start this okay then so here we are with our little alexa how are you doing um fun so that's not bad considering we need to do that um, let's head off for a shopping trip straight off. It's 7 a.m. Maybe she can grab some breakfast first, actually. Um, have a fruit salad. I think that will be nice, won't it? Yeah, you have something nice, a brekkie. Um, she also needs to clean up, but we don't have a bin yet, so we can't do that. Okay, she's just about finished this. What are you going to do? Think about a family member. Oh, and we've got something up for sale. So we can throw that in while she's eating. Ship on Flopsy. Okay, then. So let's get our friend and invite her out. So we're going to go to travel. And we are going to choose Tina, was it? Yeah, Tina Tinker. Tina Tinker is going to come for a shopping spree with her. They are be not best friends, they're good friends. Um, so, new crest, I have created this um, store myself. If you want to go and download it, you are more than welcome to. It is in the gallery. 
So they're gonna go for a shopping trip here and then head over to Windenburg for a coffee for after their shopping trip. Which I think is just a lush thing for this sim to do, especially as she's had, you know, a little bit of a rough time about it. You know, let's say hi to our friend, tell a dramatic story. You know, it's almost like opening up about, you know, her childhood and her not so nice parents. You know, they left her in the woods with a bear and bats. <laughs> Uh, and frogs appeared everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's get her to head in. We can also get her to um, get uh, her face cleaned up as well, which will be nice. That will have to be done in Cass. Um, so did I put a limit on how many clothes we can get? Um, now that your needs are taken care of, a new outfit for everyday wear, cold weather and hit weather <laughs> is needed. Nothing too fancy, but better than ripped jeans and grey tops. Um, oh yeah, and your clothes at each stage should resemble your home. So that means, you know, you're not going to get the most expensive jewel addened outfit going you're gonna have something fairly simple and things that are within that are in keeping i mean pajamas they don't exactly match either um you know normal clothes things that you might wear day to day so we're allowed that's an everyday outfit let's see what she looks like with Pork it on Bishoshi. Shabini. Stop got talking got to it. Dina. Oh, I'm so excited about this. And we'll get her a haircut and clean up her face. Oh, it'll be marvellous. Look at her, guys. Look at her. Oh, she's going on up. Now, do I want to go for that one or that one try that one on now i do actually have some lovely um uh, dressing rooms here they all have you know bits in them which is nice in fact i did there we go i mean she's got to pay for it but okay Robbie. Oh, I like that on her. That's really, really nice. That is really, really nice. I think that's a bit more her style for now than the other one is. I feel like that might just be maybe next stage outfit. It's just a little bit nicer. Whereas this is, you know, very casual. Let's do it. Let's purchase this one. And hot weather. This is our hot weather outfit. So let's get her to try that on. Unfortunately, because you can only have a max of 10 mannequins. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Oh, she looks so cute. Um, yeah, because you can only have a max of 10 mannequins. It's a bit, you know, I could... I... <laughs> Oh, that's the cold weather out there. Um, yeah, I can't just get loads of different outfits for everything. I'll have to come in each time. And here is the cold weather outfit that she's allowed. Look at that swag of the behind. Jeez. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Look how far she's come, guys. She looks fabulous. Okay, and let's purchase that outfit as well. Oh, she's done it! <laughs> oh, oh, look at that smug look on her face. Oh yeah, I'm looking good. That's what that face is saying. Okay, at the mirror, can I... I 
I can't. So what I think I'll do, I was going to say that 100 simoleons for the um, hairstyle, new hairstyle and mud off the face. So as I've had to hire a barrister for this place... I'm going to I'm going to say that I've done that. <laughs> I think that's fair. Right. So on each outfit. Oh, I have been asked quite a few times how I managed to get these smudges on her face through all of them. So all you do is on any of these is at the moment it's not here in hot weather, but if you take hot weather off it's there now. So that's how I did that originally. So we're going to take the mud off her face for each of these. Look at her under that grime. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy for Alexa. I feel kind of bad. I always do this sort of thing to Sims and like just... It give them really hard starts and and they have to work so hard <laughs> okay so we want a new hairstyle um now i'm not gonna stay a new hairstyle for... ah i see i see i see i see right um so makeup and take that off and then go over here on there and take that off because it's appeared on each of them and on that one in fact should we get rid of for hot and cold weather mm -hmm. should we get rid of the first outfit i think we should i think that's what you she would do i might keep it for this one just because it's another outfit and it will help her wardrobe from going stale uh, uh, if she appears in this a cut sometimes but she does have that and she doesn't have that because it's not appropriate weather and clothing for those weathers anyway so yeah look at her okay so new hairstyle for this one oh tied back hair up i like that i love the fringe as well it's so pretty uh, we won't change it for the rest. Maybe we could change it for these. Maybe give her a new hairstyle for each of these. So formal wear. Give her a new hairstyle. For fitness. For sleep. Yeah. They all like keeping it the same for sleep. Uh, party weather, party, um, so again, um, where's just that, there it is, I love that hairstyle, I miss my hair being like that, I used to have my hair exactly like that, and I genuinely miss it now, oh, I might have to do it at some point, get my hair cut, once the hairdressers are open again, <laughs> Right, hot weather, hot weather. Oh, I like that for hot weather. Keep it down, keep it cool. And then for this one, I don't want all her hair taken away. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one. Uh, that's clipping through. Where the hell's the ponytail gone? Because that would be quite a nice one, I think. That's nice. Oh, we'll go for that one. Okay, um, I don't really want to change her makeup. I don't feel like she would be heavily makeuped yet. Um, but for her, you know, to start off with, that is such a difference from what she was. That's crazy. Look at that. Now let me just pop the dirt on her face. Again. So yeah, we have gone from <laughs> that to that. Wow. Bless her cotton socks. 
Oh, I'm so proud of her legs. So she's doing so amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so that's cost us 100 simoleons. Couple of hairstyles um, and dirt off the face. And that's some, like, that's the sort of thing where I do it and I'm like, actually, yeah, I need to add that. So that will now be added to the website. Um, yeah, so let's get her to change. In fact, let's get her to walk through to here. Go here. She's feeling good. She's in the changing room. And she's got a good idea. <laughs> outfits, change outfits. And she can pop that one on. <gasps> Look at her. Oh, she needs to We Oh. Oh. Where's that barrister? I paid 100 smellions for a barrister that hasn't shown up. Fabulous. Right, she's going to need to use the little girl's room. So I did say at the beginning we'd be heading over to Windenburg. So I will do that. Tina, let's go. She's desperate. What is that? Meals on the cheap from saving smolians while cooking. Okay. Look, if we go, you can pee. <laughs> I hope that means she didn't just pee herself. Why have her clothes reverted back? She's just got changed. Right, so Tina and Alexa are going to go get a coffee. The hair and the hard hedgehog. Go and get a coffee and just chill out. You know, have a have a chat about some stuff. Have a coffee. Have maybe a croissant. And just let go of her life. <laughs> Start healing. Come up with some new ideas of where she can go in the future. Things like that. And of course, she can have a wee while she's here. Has Tina come with her? Yeah. Right, go for a wee. Here we go. Oh, bless her. Okay, so I've got them to sit together. Hopefully. And I'm... What are you about to do? No. Sit together, you... Where's your food gone? What just happened to her food? I I don't even know right now. Okay, so let's try that again. Come over and let's order a drink because she ordered both. Order for here a um, cappuccino, which is what I asked for her to get before. Come on. Where's... Do you know what? No, I can only clean up. Ah. Oh. I hate it. I really do. It's because the celebrities are here. They can't do anything. Are you serious? Okay. Let's sit here and chat. Okay. No. Tina's not playing ball either. Beautiful. Okay, she is eating something. Where is Tina? Her mother's there, Natalie. There's, there she is, okay. So we are gonna have a gossip and she can say, look, my mum's over there. And then we can like, uh, you know, talk about their day out shopping. Have we got like share an idea? Brighten her day, that's nice. I think Tina's going to be sat there going, you know, that's not right. You shouldn't be trying to live up to get them to come and live with you. They're horrible. Um, and I think that's the right thing for Tina to be saying, to be honest. Um, and Tina's like, well, what do you want to do? You know, if, if you could choose what to do now that you've got a home, what would you do? And she's going to say, open a store. You know what? I want to open a store. 
And that is going to lead to part three. And Tina just thought, someone just thought about dogs. And that is something else as well. Alexa wants to have a little friend. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and I think that's lovely. You know, she, she's, uh, she's coming on up in the world. And so having a, a furry friend and opening a store is going to be her next big adventure. She's had this, you know, chill down time. She's just spent four episodes. Hello, Cleo. She's just spent four episodes getting her home, getting a home of some sorts together. And now, now she, she is going to work on getting a friendly little pet. Very friendly. <laughs> Hi. You're stroking yourself on my mic, aren't you? I know your game. Okay. I do think she needs to go home. We need to sort out her needs and things. Can we say goodbye to Tina? I don't know. Yes, hello. How are you? Oh, Alexa unlocked the fabricated desk recipe. That's cool. <laughs> I always... That is the face of a very happy Sim. She's tired, but she's happy. I love that. That's beautiful. Hiya. I was wondering why my mic had so much uh, fur on it. Um, I think I'm beginning to see why. Okay, so let's get her to sleep. She still desperately needs fun. I'm not sure how to do that for her at the moment. But she can have a bubble bath though. Um, don't knock things off the desk for no reason. Bubble bath. When she is awake. Yes, she is. We've got lots of things going up for sale as well. People want the things. Ship. Ship, ship, and ship. So we also need to do the wallpaper and things. Um, I'm not sure what to go for. I know that soon... Oh, dear. So I'm also going to have to work out uh, when... She can get a hoover. Hello. Hi. Oh, oh, excuse you. Did I tickle your ear? I think maybe going and buying a hoover would be a good idea. Hmm. I do say, I think that's a good idea. She can't buy a hoover yet, can she? Whoa. Get, get rid of them. There we go. What's wrong? Hunger. When did that happen? Use. And have a fruit salad. Right, let's sort out this then, shall we? I want it to be daytime. I know I can change it in there, but yeah. Okay then, so as this is being such a very, I mean, I've been recording for 20 minutes and I've completed the challenge essentially. So what I think I'm going to get her to do is also go buy a couple of objects as well. So I'm going to get her to put the floor down, which now it's daytime, I can do that. Floors and walls and then we are going to have a look. Oh, she did a group survey. Um, and then we're going to have a look at the store where we are going to buy a hoover because it's one of those things that you're going to... When you put your floor down, you make sure you've got the things to clean it. Um, and I'm fed up with the dust already. Um, and a bin because I forgot to put that on. Um, part of this challenge is the ways you can get items. I feel like a wood floor. Maybe something a bit more rustic. Uh, throughout, yeah. 
Um, I think rugs should be open to us as well now. Ooh, a purple. A bit dark. Mm, lighter purple. Brighter purple. Ooh. Lilac. Let's go for a lilac key colour. And then in the bathroom... I like that. Although we've got purpley. Yeah, that one. Um, yeah, so um, I think rugs will be also unlocked to us. And the way this challenge works is you have to craft, make, or buy in a retail store the items, unless they can't be floors, walls, for instance, um, and things like that. So, yeah, I think. And also a stereo. She really needs her fun up. And we have the phone. I forgot about the phone. But a stereo would definitely help with that. It's, it's not really doing anything, is it? So let's get her to travel over there then. Should we go on a shopping spree again with our friend? Or maybe take someone different? Hmm... Let's see, who have we got? Who have we felt a connection to? I don't think any of them. <laughs> yeah, she can just travel alone. That's fine. Um, so the things that are unlocked to us as well now is rugs, I think, because we're putting the floor down. I feel, I feel like that's a, a natural progression as well. Um, all right, so let's travel to our retail store I cry I created this retail store as well um, there is a video of the speed build but again it's also on the gallery you can find any of my creations with the hashtag gaming with Shah. so let's who are you funny introduction to person who are you Look very interesting around our age. He's a yeah, adult, so he's a little bit older, but not by much. I is you single? Ooh. Not I'm thinking about that necessarily yet for her. I think she might adopt, if anything. He is single, interesting. Right, let's head over. So we have... Some sort of clothing store. It's a, it's a mixed batch. And the clothes are all randomised on there. So they're not amazing. Um, everything you see can be purchased. Uh, we have skills in there. Alright, here's a stereo. So... 375, 362, 900. I reckon... Out of these two, that one, buy that item. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so we'll go for that one. That looks quite snazzy. Um, and. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. We'll go for the mid-range. She wants to get... Don't you start nearly falling off my desk onto my head, Cleo. We want to go for the mid-range, I think. Um, a bin. Now, did I place any bin? Ah, I did. Hello, bins. Uh, we can go for the... Have I not placed these for sale? Uh-oh. Stop doing that. Okay, so what I've just done is go out of her house, go into the house that owns this and um, set these for sale. So now she can buy the items. Uh, which one should she get though? Mm, yeah, I like the wood one. Okay, she's riding there, of course. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh my god. 
Sims, why would you ride your bike into the store? Okay, so let's get her head to head home. We have the things. Ah, sorry, Tina. We are heading home so that we can place our items down. Okay, then. Let's get the items out. Where have we got the items? Is there anything there? There's our hoover. So... Maybe the hoover can go in the back corner over here. Then we should have the bin. Um, now, if we put that there and put the stereo down on the floor there, and the bin can go there, I think that's quite cute. Definitely needs a side table, and we need a few more counters. Um, very shortly we'll be getting a cooker anyway. I think that's part four of the challenge. So yeah, let's, she can hoover up now. Vacuum around. Let's see her house go sparkling clean. And of course, I forgot about all of the, um other items didn't i i forgot we had to upgrade everything <laughs> now you can use a retail uh, sorry the library and the computers there to order the parts that you need oh, more dust bunnies come on vacuum it all up so there is that so that is something and in the next episode we will work on that Vacuum him up. Perfect. All tidy. I guess that's just going to stay in her inventory now. Yeah, okay. I think she's done well. And she can get her fun up, which is up now. What's she done for fun? You know, I've had this a couple of times now where her needs are suddenly okay. Like they've been in a red and then... And I don't know why. Okay, um, yeah, so in the next episode, we will be looking at getting all of uh, the upgrades done in the house because I did forget about that. I added new things and I forgot about that, so. Oh, hey Alexa, I've been feeling pretty down in the dumps lately. Nothing seems to be going my way. I figured if anyone, anybody could cheer me up, it's you. Try to cheer up. Tell her to power through it. Try to cheer up. Ah, oh, well, I guess that's true. I do make the world brighter with my smile. I feel you... I feel so much better now. Thanks, Alexa. That's nice. Th there she is. That's... Oh, no, that's not. Right, she can clean that up. Okay, so if you have enjoyed this episode as ever, then please do like, subscribe, and share. We are getting a very beautiful home here. Alexa is doing incredibly well. I do think after the store, we will either have to get a, a partner or just get her knocked up or adopt. I quite like the adopt idea. I feel like she might have trust issues from her uh, parents. And so adopting might be nice. And in her ne the next generation, we can make it even better. So yeah, um, if you've enjoyed it, as I said, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.